What's going on guys, your boy Fluff here. Ever since we made the starter guide for the Necromancer and we've started putting out barbarian guides, people have been begging us to make a barb starter guide for season 12. And guess what guys, we're delivering today with a season 12 starter guide for the barb. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the starting set for the barb next season, how to gear that up as fast as possible, to juice yourself up as fast as possible so you're doing T13 as fast as possible. And we're gonna get into some of the tricks that we've used in the past and some tricks that we've discovered for next season and it's all coming your way in this video. So let's get into it. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about the set you get with Hadrig's gift next season. For the Barb, it's gonna be the Immortal King set. And guys, that is potentially one of the best starting sets in the game, especially with all the changes. You're going to be able to put together things like, you know, Seismic Slam Barb, Furious Charge Barb, Hoda Barb, really, really fast at the start of this season. And that's kind of what we're going to gear around when we're first starting the Barb. It also has the advantage that the four piece is quite good on its own. A lot of the say necro starter sets you don't get anything juicy for damage until you hit the six piece so that's another reason ik is really really strong but let's talk about how we're gonna juice this up as fast as possible but just like the necro starter guide we're gonna save our challenge rift for the start of the season the week that we know the season's gonna come out we know that season 12 starts on november 9th so the week of november 9th do not do your challenge rift until the season starts again do not do your challenge rift the week of november 9th until the season starts the boom season 12 starts you're gonna go in you're gonna do the challenge rift you're gonna play whatever crap build blizzard decided to share you're gonna open up adventure mode and you're gonna open up the loot crate that you're gonna get from that challenge rift and you're gonna get 300 blood shards now this is pretty interesting on the barbarian because there's Three really, really nice items that you can get rolling blood shards at level one. You can get Bracers of Destruction, which will have Seismic Slam deal up to 500% increased damage. And that's obviously going to be massively beneficial as you're leveling. Any damage modifier you can get while you're leveling is just going to be really, really strong. You can also get the Hoda Bracers, which are Bracers of the First Men, which will increase your Hoda damage by up to 500% damage as well. I would strongly recommend spending those 300 blood shards on a chance to get bracers one of these two pairs of bracers because that's gonna increase the damage you do by a lot it's gonna make leveling a lot faster it's gonna really juice up the leveling process in general plus when you hit 70 you can immediately cube either of these uh, for a really strong setup with immortal king another really good option is to roll band of might again as a level one barb you have a chance to either get band of might or lyric signet both of which would be pretty strong for the leveling process. And um, Band of Might is obviously OPOP in 2.6.1. And having this in the cube at level 70 right out of the box will be really, really strong. But I think for the purpose of leveling, I would probably rather have one of these really strong bracers that's a straight damage modifier versus just having more toughness. But this will be really strong to know when you're level 70 um, because you're going to want to get Band of Might like as fast as you can. And so rolling a level one barb to roll rings on to get that Band of Might as soon as possible is going to be really strong. It's a lot like the Circle of Neluj Evil on the Necromancer. You know, we roll a level one Necro, we try to get that ring, and it's going to be pretty much exactly the same with Band of Might. Again, roll a level one Band of Might, and now it's going to be crap stats, but you can cube it still. You can have it in the cube right at the start of season 12, which will be amazing. Let's fast forward. You're level 70. You've done your Hadred's Gift quest series in the season, which again, guys, is going to be a lot easier than most other classes because the four piece IK is amazing. Plus, if you're lucky, which you probably will be, you'll have either the Bracers of Destruction or Bracers of the First Men to be able to wear right out of the box in your Bracer slot. You're gonna be able to juice up either Seismic Slam or Hoda like really quick. But assuming you haven't gotten anything else along the way and we just have, you know, the Immortal King set with, you know, say one of these Bracers, what do you do next? Your goal with Blood Shard should be to get a Vile Ward. We're going to try to put Furious Charge Barb together as fast as we can. And again, guys, if you need to know what the crap I'm talking about, what is Furious Charge Barb, go check out the video we just made on the Charge Barb for T13. It's insanely fast. And that's what we're going to be trying to gear for as fast as we can. Now, of course, you can be very successful playing, you know, an IK 
Uh, Hoda version, you can be very successful playing an IK Seismic Slam or, you know, an IK R6 uh, Seismic Slam. All of those would be really, really strong. But for T13, farming as fast as we can at the start of the season, Furious Charge Barb is probably going to be the best, um, especially since IK is the starting set and not Whirlwind. Whirlwind's going to be very, very strong as well, but we're not going to have all the pieces we need for Whirlwind right out of the box. So Charge Barb is what we're gearing for and trying to put together as fast as possible. So with that in mind, again, we're using all of our blood shards to try to purchase vile wards. Now, one of the really strong things uh, about the cube is these recipes. So say you're rolling vile wards and you get a piece of Raycor. Now, to put Charge Barb together, we need four pieces of Raycor. Uh, you'll undoubtedly get at least one pair of Raycor's burden while you're trying to roll these vile wards. Vile wards are pretty rare. You're gonna keep rolling shoulders until you get them and you'll probably get multiple pairs of Raycor's Burden. So the great thing about the cube is it has this recipe called Skill of Nilfer, which says convert set item. Say you have three pairs of Raycor shoulders, but no other pieces of Raycor. And again, you need at least three pieces of Raycor to put Furious Charge Barb together, because we're gonna be wearing Ring of Royal Legrander in the cube. So you can literally put this in the cube, fill, and because you, you're gonna have souls at the start of the season, you know, pretty easily. You're gonna have some death breaths, and it only costs 10 of each. So you're gonna be able to take the shoulders and convert them into, you know, any other Raycor piece, which could be hands, legs, feet, or so, you know, helmet, which will get you that R4 IK6 setup that you want for Furious Charge Barb really, really fast. Now, another thing that you're really, really, really gonna wanna do right out of the box at, you know, level 70 is run bounties, especially for the charge barb, because you're going to need a ring of royal grander and you're going to need a band of avarice. And both of those items come from running bounties. The doing split farm bounties at the start of the season is going to be really strong. You're going to want to get, you know, a nice rolled Rorik, or at least just a Rorik you can throw in the cube. Going to want to get a really nice rolled avarice band, the dream. So that's what we're going to be doing with our blood charts. We're going to be rolling on shoulders, but with our DBs and crafting mats, we're going to be upgrading weapons now hopefully in the process of getting some of this other gear you have found a standoff standoff is a two-hand pull arm but if you haven't found it yet you're gonna want to upgrade two hand pull arms in the cube using the hope of cane recipe you're gonna throw in a rare standoff you're gonna hit fill and you're gonna transmute there's only four or five pull arms in the loot pool for the barb um, i was able to get standoff multiple times first try but we just need this item in the cube as fast as we can so if you haven't at this point found the standoff naturally you're going to want to try to upgrade pole arms in the cube to try to get it and cube it as fast as you can now assuming maybe you found the standoff along the way already or you've gotten one through upgrading now what do you upgrade next you're going to want to upgrade two-hand mighty weapons and you're probably never going to want to stop upgrading two-hand mighty weapons and unless you're planning on playing you know either whirlwind or um hoda barb or you would need you know the paired blades now the reason i say upgrade two-hand mighty weapons is because there there are seven two-hand mighty weapons in the barb loot pool but four of those seven are really really good are really really strong and are going to be weapons that you're actually going to want so the value you're going to get for upgrading two-hand mighty weapons is really good on the barb you can get the Gavel of Judgment, which isn't fantastic. You mostly just want to cube this weapon. But again, at the start of a season, having IK6 and the Gavel of Judgment, plus, you know, maybe Bracers of the First Men, you're going to have an amazing T13 setup. You're going to have a build that can do GR70 to unlock the Primals. It's going to be really, really strong. You can also get Fury of the Vanished Peaked, which if you guys haven't seen our Slam Bar video, definitely go give that a look. You're gonna need a really good Fury of the Vanished Peak if you're wanting to run that setup. And again, that's for speed 90s. It's crazy. So of course you're gonna be able to unlock Primals really, really fast if you get this weapon, plus the Bracers. You can also get Immortal King's Boulder Breaker, which you'll already have at this point, but getting an Ancient One, a Primal One, is gonna be a, a dream for you to try to get this season. So finding a better one, of course, you're going to want to do that. And lastly, you can get the Blade of Tribes as well. It is also a two-hand melee weapon. And if you guys are interested in playing, you know, the Volcano Barb that we already posted, or even just the um, Earthquake Push build, you're going to want a really good Blade of Tribes. So again, that's four two-hand mighty weapons you can get out of seven. So the value you can get for two-hand mighty weapons rolling in the cube is really, really strong. But again, I would recommend just upgrading two-hand mighty weapons until you get a really powerful ancient weapon 
that you want to use for your build. So boom, we've almost completely put together charge barb. So now let's assume you have your vile wards. What do you roll your blood shards on next? Next, you're gonna wanna roll bracers. There's so many good bracers for the barbarian. Obviously, we're trying to get nemesis bracers for the furious charge barb, but or Zatchi and Iron Guards will also work really, really well. Uh, Ancient Parth and Defenders, well, you don't want that for T13, will also be really strong in that slot. So that's three that will work in the Charge Barb. And again, you're probably going to want to get really strong Bracers of the First Men for if you're playing Hoda Barb. You're probably going to want to get really strong Bracer of Destruction for either playing the Slam Barb or the IK6 R4 Slam Barb. Both are gonna want, you know, really strong Bracers of Destruction. So the value you're gonna get for, you know, rolling on Bracers is really high. Now, at this point, say you have everything slotted, maybe it's not ancient, you have everything you need for Charge Barb, and the only hiccup here is maybe you still don't have a Band of Might. So again, this is where I would use that trick that I was talking about earlier in the video where you would roll a level one barb and roll rings to try to get Band of Might in the cube as soon as you can. Now, also along this path, you probably have gotten a neck that's decent. You know, we're really just after strength, crit damage, crit chance, socket. You're gonna probably find something along the way. There's a lot of necklaces out there that can roll really well. So Hellfire Amulet won't be necessarily a priority at the start of the season, but that's probably not something I would worry about right out of the gate. You know, that's something that you want to probably do like later, you know, a few days after the season starts or, you know, it's week two. But obviously a priority for a lot of the bar builds will involve the Hellfire Amulet. So you can farm that, you know, as soon as you feel comfortable with farming T13 or your Paragon levels. And that's kind of the order operations that I would follow if I were remaining a barb next season to the start of the season. I will say that, you know, if you're a solo player, you know, I'm mostly a solo player. As you guys know, Barb's really, really nice to play, especially next season. You know, a lot of the Barb builds are really, really strong again. Um, you guys have seen some of the builds that we've posted. You know, speeding 90s in three to five minutes is really, really strong on any class. But Barb's gonna be a really, really solid option. And one of the things that makes Barb really, really strong as well for solo play is the fact that the Bovine Bardache is part of the Barb loot pool. You're gonna get a lot of these and I would strongly recommend saving these. Just like have a whole stash tab full of bovine bardishes for when you reach like Paragon 1000, Paragon 1200, you know, start using them around that mark if you're, you're soloing greater rifts or, you know, your group will love you if you just have a stockpile of bovine bardishes that you can use for GR turn-ins. And that's one of the reasons, you know, Barb's really, really strong solo because these bovines, they're priceless, man. If you guys don't know what the crap I'm talking about, you literally just stick a bovine in the cube, hit transmute, and it opens up a rift to the cow level. And inside the cow level, there's gonna be two pools of reflection, which is just really, really strong. Tons of XP to be had from pools of reflection. That's why I always recommend on a lot of the builds, that, you know, you have a DI, and this build doesn't really need it because you're quite tanky, but you don't wanna lose those pools of reflection, they're so strong. Now, obviously I'm gonna be maining a Necro next season, I mean, that's kind of what we've become known for. And, you know, Blight Spear is just so much fun to play. So strong. But I would argue that, you know, Barb and Necro are both going to be really, really amazing for T13. Um, DH is obviously very strong as well. But builds that can do damage as you move are always going to be the strongest, you know, for T13 speed GRs. So, you know, Charge Barb, Whirlwind Barb, Blight Spear, being able to do damage as you move throughout the rift instead of having to stop and do damage is always really, really strong. But if you guys want to vote on what else we're going to be playing in Season 12, we are going to be playing an alt, at least one. Um, and right now, Monk's winning somehow. But we'll leave a link in the description below, and you guys can vote if you want to. And that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. As always, huge shout out to all our supporters on Twitch and YouTube. We love you guys. But hopefully this covered some of the questions you're going to have at the start of Season 12. If you feel like we've missed anything, please feel free to comment in the comment sections below. Or of course, if you have any questions, do comment in the comment sections below. We do try to get to those as fast as we possibly can. But hopefully this will give you guys an idea of what to do come season 12 on the BARP. As always, guys, like, subscribe, come over to Twitch, ask your questions. We love you guys. Peace out.